Most impacts. Fully stopped. The fog doesn't get us, the storms will. Something over again. Ah, Tink didn't mean anything by it, Mitch. I swear, her tail's a menace. Does she even know it's attached to her bleeding hide? If you want me to work in this flea ridden bar of yours, you'll watch your tone. Ah, uh, fine. Oh, I think Tink likes you. Here, kitty. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. In the last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? The runaway's name is Kasumi. You, uh, know about her? Sounds like Cap Mavery's been running her mouth again. She should know better than to stick her nose where it's not wanted. Maybe I heard of her, maybe not. Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my lurks out there. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. Fortify your gut against the fog. With whiskey! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Literacy is important. But perhaps something of more substance is good for nurturing the mind. Town. Acadia is above the fog line on the mountain. Stay it's clear of the quarry. You might want to take this for the road. Tastes foul of sin, but it'll help. We need to move through the old mountain trail is what we're for.
come. Freelanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Drax, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. What was that? Look sharp! Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number for you. Get you all turned around. So something ain't brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. that we got local wildlife to deal with. eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Exercise that. 
gulper's got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them. damnation, old man? Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those, too? Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures. And instead... Seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Acadia is not too far now. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? Maybe later, Long Dog. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Hey. You need something, yes? Um, hey, got a sec? What do you wish to talk about? Your thoughts? Humanity has fallen so since the bombs. 
That's all for now. As you wish. When I first climbed this mountain, above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. 
I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being. Not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... Well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places... Even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? I'm just gonna tell you right now, Dima. I'm in the Institute. That's... quite an admission to make. I'm used to the Institute striking from the shadows. I'll say this to you. I'm not your enemy. I only wish to live here, in peace, with my people. As a scientist, can you not see the value of independent synth life? You have a chance here to witness how wondrous that could be. All you have to do is do nothing. Don't tell your fellow researchers about us. Don't tell them we're here. I'll think about your offer. It's all I can ask. Give Acadia a chance. Perhaps, one day, all of humanity will come to accept us. Including the Institute. Now, was there anything else? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators. The Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. 
no false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Tell me more about this place, Arcadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Atom Lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. And they're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, 
Does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? I don't do much for free, Faraday. Ah, right. Of course. I should have thought of that. How does 100 caps sound? Didn't you say this might be dangerous? A hundred caps seems a little light if danger's involved. Well, yes, there is that possibility. Uh, would two hundred caps be more agreeable? Faraday, come on. I want to help you, I really do. Two hundred caps is just, I mean, it's a little insulting. Oh, oh dear. I'm so sorry, insulting you was not my intention. Is three hundred caps less insulting? That's really about all I can spare. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition. Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long.
yes? Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. I'm sorry. Never mind. Okay. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Is there a problem with my being here? Maybe. Maybe not. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Is there anything I can say or do to change your mind? Just don't cause any problems. So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? You're the one who lives here. What do you think of it? Well, I... I think it's all rather compelling. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important? really important in the long run is understanding it and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us so what exactly are you doing as much as i can given limited resources cataloging specimens observing evolutionary trends compiling data for future generations i should note that i'm not fully versed in human anatomy but i'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that... Uh, I don't know. That abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Hey there. Can I help you? So, what's your story? Similar to most here, I think. I fled the Institute feeling that anything else would be allowing myself to remain trapped, constantly in fear. I chose not to go into hiding, though. I felt to do that, I'd lose what makes me... me. Does that make sense? If I lost my life, that'd be one thing. To lose my identity... That was too much to bear. Thankfully, it never came to that. So, here I am.
Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Why do you care? I suppose I don't really. Just not too many visitors lately. That new girl and now you. That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Anything interesting you can tell me about Acadia? God, no. We looked around this place. Death by boredom is a legitimate concern. So, come on. You want to do a little trading? So, what's your story? Me? <laughs> no story here. Not one that matters, anyway. Like I said, it's not worth holding on to. Nice of you to ask, though. Hi. Need something? I've got a few minutes to browse. The best Acadia has to offer coming right up. Did you need something? New guy, right? Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? Sounds like you should get some help. Yes, right. Brilliant. If only I'd thought of that and, oh, I don't know, gone someplace to see synths that could help me. Like, maybe... Acadia? Thanks so much for the advice. <clears throat> Some other time, okay? You want to buy something or what? What can you tell me about Acadia? It's smaller than I'd like it to be. But then, we don't exactly have the numbers to fill some place larger. Makes it easier to defend, anyway. Forget it. Did you want something or not? So, what's your story? I... I don't like talking about it. I made it to Acadia. That's what matters. Now that I'm here, I'm going to make sure nothing happens to it. of us all to further that survival. Good morning, Mina. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? Were you disappointed with what you found? I mean, look, 
I don't want to sound ungrateful. If it weren't for Arcadia and for Dima, I'd probably be dead. I guess I was just hoping for more somehow. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost. So scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing. That she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am. For all it's worth. You're lucky to have found a place in the world. Yeah, I guess. This just wasn't where I thought I'd end up. Any of it. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Hey. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? It's the same as it's ever been, as far as I can tell. Well, that's good to hear. It certainly did have its charms. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here, Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Excuse me. Synths and humans will all get along someday. I just know it. Hi. Acadia may not look like much from the outside. But it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting. Were you disappointed with what you found? I mean, look. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I guess I was just hoping yeah. when I first escaped. Hmm? But I heard rumors of... And now here I am. So now you're here. What comes next? I don't know. I really don't. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better... Some other time, okay? You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Do you think you're better off now that you're here? Oh, absolutely. I don't have to pretend, I don't have to lie, and I don't worry that someone's gonna kill me in my sleep. Or worse. I'll see you around, okay? Hey. If it weren't for Dima, most of us would probably be dead. I just can't deal with social interactions, okay? Did you need something? So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Feels like things are getting worse by the day. Oh, don't be silly. It was never all that bad. Not really. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. No offense, but are you crazy? <laughs> oh, you. I think we're all a little mad in the end. I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care.
I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Excuse me. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Every day is a struggle here, but at least we don't have to hide. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Maybe if I reroute the sensors? Energy output on these things are terrible. Design this. I'd almost have better luck rebuilding this from scratch. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Good Look, morning, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. I know it must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes. I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with Acadia. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough running. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. 
What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. It's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. I'll figure this out. Just stay here. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found anything. <laughs>